Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka DV Truvian Gamer, and I'm here with a new unboxing. This time I'm unboxing Renature, a new game by Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling, or Michael Kiesling. Uh, Kramer and Kiesling, a very well renowned uh, uh, board game design duo. And this is their new one from Deep Print Games PSC Games. And uh, well, I have uh, first things first. I won this game through BGG contest, so if you ever doubt that those contests aren't real, well, in this case, it was definitely real uh, because I was one of the winners. I won a copy of it and it arrived today. So let's go and check what this game is all about. Let's take a look at the back first, as we always do. We have Renature. Help nature reclaim what is hers by restoring a polluted valley to its pristine state. Place your animal domino dominoes along the course of a brook and replant the surrounding lands to score points. But when is the best moment to plant each of your various plants? And where are the best spots to do so? These are the questions you must answer to win. From simple rules comes a multitude of exciting decisions and tactical possibilities with stunning components and a beautiful theme. Renature is perfect for casual and advanced players alike. So I'm looking forward to see stunning components. So it's a game for 8 and up. Two to four players, and it plays in 45 minutes to an hour. And apparently, you already have a video that you can uh, go to to see how it's played. So, let's take a look inside the box, folks. Um, it's a beautiful cover, that's for sure. The beautiful tree, and some butterflies, and uh, some other foresty animals, but also people, as you can see. All right, let's see. We have a rule book. It says again for two to, play, two to four players, ages eight and up. Uh, it's not a big rule book. Uh, I can already say that. So we have the components, the setup, the game, the rules in a couple of pages. End of the game, end of the rule book with an overview of the play sequence. So how, what to do in your turn? So a very small rule book. Uh, so it's. Uh, not that many rules in this one, so that's uh, I don't I don't mind that at all. Then we have some punch boards, quite a bit of punch board even, as you can see. Oh no, it's two punch boards, and it's of course the game board. Um, let's take a look at the punch board. These are the player boards, uh, apparently, and always do the stress test. Let's see uh, how it looks. It's it's yeah, it's perfectly fine. The component quality here. It's perfectly fine. Um, not sure if there are any differences between the front and the back. Uh, I would have to figure out. It's a little bit. It looks like these are only two, sp a big spot and a small one. And these are multiple spots. I don't know what it does, but that's what you have here. Uh, some f uh, are these flowers or clouds? I have no idea. <laughs> um, there we go. Bunch board stuff. And more of that with the sunflowers. This looks like these are points that you can get, I guess, for majorities something for something. I'm not sure. Um, I must admit, I did not read the rule book yet. So this is the uh, player, oh, the, the game board, not the player board, the game board. And let's zoom out a little bit so you can see it better. So there we go. It's uh, quite sober because it doesn't need to be very flashy or very special because you're going to put this board full with other stuff uh we have special i believe this artwork is really it's a different choice it, it feels a little bit like an older game that way with this artwork right it has this feel of an old of an older board game and then also the track the points track with the sunflowers it feels like it's an older game but it's not. It's brand new. All right. What do we have here? Whoa. Blackness here. A beautiful insert here. But we have two bags. A small bag two, and two big bags. And that's it. This box is empty now. There are some creatures in here. A uh, turtle and uh, a lizardy thing. Uh, snails. So it's a beautiful insert actually with cool little details. So that's pretty. That's very pretty indeed. But what do we have in the bags? Well, there's nothing in this one, this small one, and I hope you don't have to take anything out because a lot of people will find this bag quite uh, small. I, I don't have big hands, so it, it won't be e uh, it's even too small for me. I will have to push to get into the corners. Anyway, to the important things. What's in this one? They put a nut in this to challenge me during my unboxing. 
but I'm okay. So we have in this bag, oh, a bunch of, I feel more than that. So let's just take some stuff out. All right, so a bunch of tokens. Uh, I'm not sure if they're player related, these tokens. Let's see if we can, let's take the rule book and the components list. So I am, I can tell you at least a little bit. So for each player, it looks like, no, there are for 74 plants uh, in different colors. Yeah, four different, five colors. Uh, this is the neutral color and then you have player colors as well. You have, uh, let's see, oaks. These are the oak trees and these are the uh, pines. Looks a little bit like a Christmas tree, which is great for this time, of course. Uh, in different colors. These small things here, there are turf. They also will be available in multiple colors. Uh, these are score markers. There we go. Uh, more turf. And this one we didn't have yet. These are bushes. So that's the four different uh, types of uh, these things. And uh, well, as you can see, they're in multiple things. Also, this typical baggie is in there as well. Uh, but well, as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of wood in this box. There you go. And that's only a part of it, folks. So let me put this aside a little bit. So I still have the room here. Let's open this bag as well, because now, now you will see something. So what do we have here as well? We have 55 domino tiles. And a silica gel bag. Now. These tiles, first of all, they also have that uh, artwork of the animals. When I try to focus here, let's get close. There we are. Uh, but look, look, look how thick these tiles are. These domino tiles. These are super. Uh, let's see. Let's. Do I have something to. Well, this is my phone. Uh, there. My phone is small or thinner than these tiles. These are pretty, pretty. <laughs> Uh, sturdy thick tiles. Uh, this is uh, well, they did something on it to keep it safe, I guess, from uh, damage. So that's pretty cool. There's a little bit sh shine, you can see it there. So it's not stickers, but there we go. And you have, well, like Domino, some with two of the same and all that stuff. Now, I have no idea how this game works completely. Oh, there's one more. Um, apparently, if this is a game where a little bit of area majority and area influence that you try to do, you are going to, let's see if I can, oh no, I used the back of the box, of course. I've used a box to put stuff in. So, oh, let's just make some noise. All right, so this is how it will look during the game. So you're trying to enclose different stuff. You, of course, you will probably have to put the tiles so they connect on at least one side with the same animal. Uh, so it's a little bit abstracty, it looks like. But uh, well, as I said, uh, Michael and uh, Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling, they have uh, quite of a well-renowned name in board game world. So this might be a very good family game. I'm looking forward to try this out, and uh, when I do, you will probably hear something about it in one of my uh, episodes of the Vitruvian Alive. And uh, well, if you want to see that, be sure to be subscribed, push that subscribe button, that bell icon, even if you want. Uh, have you already played this one or tried this out? Maybe virtually? Let me know in the comments below what did you think uh, the, about the game. So that's the unboxing, folks. Re-nature for you. Thanks for watching and see you all next time. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.